Okay. Um, you're going to solve some ge problem, problems where you combine algebra with geometry. The geometry part's not nothing hard. Okay, it says a width is five feet more than twice its length. Its area is 240 square feet. Find the dimensions of the garden, length and width. If you have to solve the geometry problem, I would make a little line down there. This is going to be the equation I write, and here's going to be my scratch paper. Well, first off, the equation. Area, okay, is taking the length times the width, and I'm going to put a little A up there. Okay, now that's going to be filled out, but it's not going to be as L times W's area. That doesn't do any good. Now I use this is to set up an equation here. Now before is, I see the word width. Now I space the other variable L over here. Now find the word length and look your way backwards twice. So L has to be multiplied by 2. And then 5 feet more, it's plus 5. So in the W parentheses, okay, you are going to not put W. You're going to put what W equals, which is 2L plus 5. And then I'm just going to put L here, okay? I need to write it in terms of the same variable. Now, the area we know is 240. Now, multiply that and simplify it, please. Before we can solve an equation, we can't have that parentheses there. So this has one term, the 1L does. This has two terms. So it's just a 1 by 2 multiplication. So I take 1L times 2L. Then I take 1L times 5. So that's going to be 2L to the second. And that's going to be 5L. So over here we now have 2L to the second plus 5L. Over here you got your 240. Now... We're ready to solve for L. L is to the second, so it has two solutions, two roots. Okay. Now, I wanted you to start a little thing here. You have L to the second. Well, you also have L to the first, and you also have a constant. Put a C for constant. Okay. So, that's three terms. You just need to line them up all on one side. Okay. Whenever I have a variable to different powers, like an L to the second, and there's also an L to the first, you've got to clear one side of the equation and use your factoring procedure. Okay. So, I'm going to write factoring. That's how we're going to solve that. So, you take away your 240. There's no number. See, these both these are multiplied by some type of L. Okay. So, I put minus 240 at the end. So 2L to the second plus 5L minus 240 equals 0. Now, set up your factoring. How many terms are we trying to factor? We're trying to factor 3. So I go GCF and I make my table. Okay, you got an L on the last one. We do L's just like X's. There's no variable there. There's no negative there. 2, 5, and 240, no, 5 is an odd number, so it's just 1, okay? So I'm not doing the GCF. Now, ABC that. 2 times negative 240 is negative 480. I am not, okay, if you get a number in the hundreds, I'm going to allow you to ditch that and just put QF, quadratic formula. That's not saying that the factors don't exist. That's me saying the number's too high. If it's above, if it's in the hundreds, we're not going to do it. We're just going quadratic formula. Opposite of B, opposite of B, plus or minus the square root, B squared minus 4AC, B squared minus 4AC over 2A, over 2A. So the opposite of plus 5 is negative 5. And the A here is 2. So we know so far we got negative 5, and 2 times 2 is 4. Now B, B is 5, 4A is 2, C is negative 240. Now I'm going to find this square root on my calculator. Watch how I do it. I go second square root function. Now one parenthesis comes up. That does not count. We have to make your own, like I did, 5, close it, raise it to the second power, Minus 4, 2, negative 240. Remember to get that in as a negative. 
Okay, 44.10 square root goes away and then 2. I don't need to do that I crap because that's when I get a domain error. So I go negative 5 plus 44.10. Click equals and then you divide by 4. So it'd be 9.78. Now the other root. Negative 12.28. Now you cross out the negative. That doesn't count. So your positive is the one you want to put there. Now you're like, oh, W just be negative 12 point. No, it's not, okay? To find your W, you come up here. You have your answer for L, so let's put a times dot there and put 9.78. All I need to do is find what 2 times 9.78 plus 5 is, 24.56. Now, you can always check your answer by multiplying them together and seeing if you're at least close to 240. Yeah, close enough. Now, it's a little bit off because I rounded. I got irrational decimals that I rounded. That's okay. Okay, next problem. Margaret is planting a rectangular garden. Its length is 4 feet less than twice its width. Its area is 170 square feet, approximate the dimensions of the garden. So over here is for me to do some simplifying, and here's where I write my equation. So, you need to put parentheses, so length times width equals your area. Okay, now the area we know is 170. Now we need to write these in terms of the same variable. So length is L equals, and you put W over here twice its width, so W is multiplied by 2, then 4 less, you put minus 4. You can't go 4 minus 2W, okay? It's 2W minus 4, okay? You can't mess that up. So since the L is equal to 2W minus 4, in the L dimension, I, I don't put L, I put what L equals, which is 2W minus 4. And over here, we're just going to write W and multiply that out. Okay, this has two terms, this has one term. So again, it's two by one multiplication. So there's just two products, 2w times 1w, and then negative 4 times 1w. So it's going to be 2w squared, and this is negative 4w. Those are not like terms, so we don't put them together. There's nothing 2w squared minus 4w equals 170. Okay, now W is to the second power, so it's got two roots. Now put what else you got in the equation. You have a W to the second, you have a W to the first, and you have a constant. Okay, So that's three terms, but you need to move everything to one side of the equation. Okay, Now 170 doesn't have a variable. There's no number here. But both these numbers have variables. They're multiplied by variables, so you put it after everything and you have your new equation, the w second minus the 4w minus the 170 equals 0. So when you have the variable you're solving for, the roots, when that's to different powers like it is, you need to move, clear, move everything to one side and use your factoring. So equals 0, then factor. you got to get those. Okay, so that's three terms. So GCF. And my table. Okay, you don't have a variable there. Don't have a negative here. I think those are all even, so I think you can factor out a 2, though. Okay. So what I'm going to do with the 2, just in case, is put it down here. It doesn't have a W, okay? So it's I really don't use it to solve. So it's going to be 1W to the second minus 2W. 170 divided by 2 is 85. Okay. All right, so now that i placed the 2, let's get rid of it. I've already placed it, and then the ABC comes from here. So 1 times negative 85 is negative 85. So it's positive time. I'll, I'll do this because it's under 100. 185. Remember, you have to add to negative 2. Uh, 2 is a decimal, 85 is not divisible by 3, divided by 5 you get 17. 
And I got news for you. You can divide all the way to eternity. You ain't going to find it because that's the only factors of 85 that exist. So QF that. Okay. So opposite of B, opposite of B, plus or minus D square root, B squared minus 4AC, B squared minus 4AC over 2A, over 2A. Okay. So the opposite of the B, remember ABC is now here. It's not up here. So positive 2. And B inside, that's going to be a negative 2. A is 1, C is negative 85. And then A, A is 1. So you got your 2. 2 times 1 is 2. Now some of you are like, well, what about that 2 you factor out? It doesn't matter. It doesn't have a variable. So it's irrelevant. Okay. So I go second square root, double, negative 2 to the second, minus 4, 1, negative 85. Okay, I got 18.55. It's irrational, so I was right in my assumption that it wouldn't work. So you go 2 plus 18.55, click equals, then divide by 2. 10.28. Then 2 minus 18.55, divide by 2. You've got to click equals first, negative 8.28. Ditch the negative, okay? 10.28 is what I want to use for my width. Now for the length, we just put our width in. So this is times, so it's 2 times 10.28, then minus 4. Okay, 16.56. Okay, I'm going to multiply those and make sure I get something that's at least close to, yep, 170 close to. Okay, a patio's length is 8 less than 3 times its width. The area is 220 square feet, approximate the garden's dimensions. That would be the length and the width. So you set up your area. Length times width equals area. And the area I know is 220. Now I need to write the, length, the dimensions in terms of the same variable. So that's where that is comes in. L equals, work your way backwards. So 3 times 8 less means minus 8. So in the L parentheses, you put 3W minus 8. And this is just going to be W. Now, I don't need to worry about that. Now I need to multiply this out first. That's two terms multiplied by one term. Okay, so 3w times 1w, and then negative 8 times 1w. So that's 3w squared. That's negative 8w. So on this side, you got 3w to the second minus 8w, and over here you got your 220. So the variable I'm solving for is w. It's to the second power. There's two answers. Now what else do you have in the equation other than the w squared? Well, you got w to the first. Then you have that number without w. That's known as your constant. Okay. So that's three terms. You just got to move them all to one side. That can't go here. It can't go here. It goes at the end. 3w squared minus 8w minus 220 equals 0. So let's set up the GCF and table. Guys, if you refuse to set up the boxes, I have no sympathy for you for why you get confused. Okay, none. W, no. Negative, no. 3, 8, and 220, that's 1. You can't divide them all by 3. Okay, it's either 3 or it's 1. Okay. Okay, 3 times negative 220, that's negative 660. How about not? That's in the hundreds. I don't even do it. Okay, opposite of B, opposite of B, plus or minus the square root. So again, if I go QF, I'm not making parentheses. I, go, I write out my quadratic formula. And then 2A. So opposite of B is 8. B, you got negative 8, 4, A is 3, C is negative 220, and down here you got 3. 
So you know you got A, 2 times 3 is 6. Now punch that square root into the calculator. So negative 8 to the second, minus 4, uh, 3, negative 2, 20. 52. Now you got, that means the t-chart would have worked, but why would I want to just torture myself? 8 plus 52 divided by 6 is 10. Then 8 minus 52 divided by 6 is negative 7.3, which is negative 7 and a third. We're, we don't care. We're, we, we want 10. That's a better answer. Can't, dimension can't be a negative. So I take 3 times 10 is 30, minus 8 is 22, so L equals 22. And 22 times 10 is 220.